the life and the teachings and the story of Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu anhu is not only a story, only a tragedy, only a life of a companion, or only becoming a victim of a tyrant of that time. But it is completely at the peak of the peak to show and manifest that what is the purpose of life <coughs> and how to achieve the purpose of life against all odds when things and everything turns against you. We might have many things as well which are against us, but his life is shown and he radiallahu ta'ala anhu alayhi salam was a continuation of the mission of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, Hussein is from me and I am from Hussein. So he was a continuation of the mission. The prophethood ended upon the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, but the prophetic mission was to continue until day of judgment. So his life shows us, gives us identity, because many of us have identity crisis. We don't know who you are. A uh, lion knows who lion is. He walks like a lion. He roars like a lion. A mouse knows who it is. It actually lives life as mouse. The cow lives life of a cow. A buffalo lives life of a buffalo. Dog lives, dog's nose. What it should, what is the sound? It should bark and what it should do. But when there's identity crisis, a dog is trying to act like a cat. A donkey is trying to act like a monkey. Then actually it is quite a mixture and disaster. So animals know the identity they live, but human beings, they sometimes lose their identity. Identity meaning who they are. Allah Azza wa Jal subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored. He is the creator and maker. So he has honored and given you identity that you are one of his best creation. You are the future kings and queens of paradise. Every believer, every human being have a potential to become king and queen of their own paradise. Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu anhu was the prince of all of the Jannah, putting all together. But everyone will have their own kingdom. So you have the potential. But now when we look at identity crisis, meaning sometimes we are trying to act like shaitan, although we are not shaitan. We are not shaitan, but then a lion who tries to make sounds of a donkey or behave like a donkey is problematic. So you are a lion in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ Allah had honored Bani Adam, the children of Adam. Men and women. So you have a great status. Identity Allah has given you that your identity is to be deputy and khalif of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla maidu. But here we are sometimes trying to, trying to identify ourselves like devil. How, what do I mean by that? Do devilish acts. What is the devil? What is shaitan does? Arrogant, not submitting to Allah, not praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
lying, wasting time, wasting life. So sometimes when we lose our identity, we end up being, and sometimes we are just following anyone in the fashion industry or any other political leader, any social leader, any of the leaders in whilst Allah Azza wa Jal categorically said there is no in the Quran wa khatamun nabiyyin the Prophet Islam is the last of the messengers and prophets. What does that mean? He is actually the last leader as being a prophet. So who are you, who are me, when there is khatme nabuwat, who are we following them? Where do others leaders come when there is no prophet to come? So we will follow those people then who are opposite to the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam then. So it's like a prince, there's a country and there's a prince. The king wants to make the prince ruler of a particular part of his empire, a country. But the prince loses his identity. He thinks, I am beggar. He's like, he behaves like beggars outside. He sometimes behaves like druggies. Sometimes actually like he's just a normal person working on the street. The king will become angry. The king will become displeased that I have, this is, I want to make this my son a prince and he's behaving like beggars and some other people and some bad people. So he will punish that if you keep on doing this, you are disgracing my blessing upon you. You are giving bad name to me as well. So without any similitude, because Allah Azza wa Jal does not have any children or anything, but Allah Azza wa Jal chooses His beloved's people, the creation. So Allah has chosen us as to be prince of our own paradise. And then He sees that we are behaving like devils, shayateen, evil people, derogatory. Then Allah Azza wa Jal becomes displeased and that is why we end up in punishment that we had honor of being prince and we are behaving like actually beggars and homeless people who doesn't have home. What do these homeless people, what happens? Our brother Nasir, he works with them, he feeds them every week. They don't have identity sometimes. They don't know where they're from. They don't have address where someone can, can help them. Sometimes they don't have identity documents. That's what's happening, that they are living in the street. So when you become and lose identity, then you are like a homeless person walking on the face of the earth. Don't know them. If, he's, if I see in TV, yeah, this person has very good dress. He has very good hair. Oh yeah, I like it. Now I won't think. He is a dancer, he has his own profession, he's a gangster, he's an actor. I will say, okay, I'll, next time I go to the barber, oh, I want that style. This is called identity crisis, that this person doesn't have his identity. He doesn't know who his father is. Spiritual father is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he is your spiritual father. Now, it's like you who forgot your father, who is your father, and you see any person, oh yeah, I like this person, he is my father, I'll follow him. He is my father. You, disgracing people will say, you are attributing yourself to a wrong person, your father is one only. And you are attributing, no, because he has big car, he has um, good health, or he has big or money, and you made him your father, you, you follow him, you attribute to him. No, your father is one only. 
Your God is one, your messenger is one. He is your spiritual father. And when you lose your identity, the who is your really spiritual father, then anyone you see walking on the street, in the film, in the drama, in there, you will just end up following them. But people have their identity, whoever have their, they know their identity, they are following their identity. You see, in this country, many countries, people who are gays, they know their identity, they identify, I am gay, and then they live up to it. They say, yes, we are. Here we are, we want our rights. We want people to respect us. We want to marry lesbians, they want to marry, they are not shy. Like you, me and anyone, oh, I am shy if I dress up like Rasulullah or if I dress up how Allah wants, if I live my life how Allah wants, so what will people think? Why are they gays, lesbians, druggies, why are they not thinking like this? Because they are identifying themselves as one thing and then they are living up to it. They knew even actually lobby the government and people that we want our rights. And you are created as a human being, one of the best creation, follower, given the best prophet, given the best book, and you are healthy, psychologically a thing. And then when you don't know your own reality, you end up following any willy-nilly here, there, actually. Anyone can come and take you like an animal, anyone holds its reins, and there you are, and it takes away. That's when you don't know your identity. Once you know your identity, that's the lesson in the life of Sayyidina Ibn Hussain, radiallahu ta'ala. And once you know, the whole world cannot move you. Whole armies cannot move you. Death cannot move you. Then you are like a rock. Waves are coming, splashing it, but the rock is there. So Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu anhu ki zindagi mein sirf yeh sabak nahi ke ek waqya ho ya wo ek waqya nahi wo ek zindagi ka ek maqsad bataya gaya aur us maqsad ko hasil kaise karna hai wo bataya gaya unhone ke jab har cheez khilaf bhi ho jaye phir bhi tum maqsad hasil kar sakte ho tum kamyab ho sakte ho usse sabse pehli baat yeh thi कि अपनी पहचान उन्होंने सिखाई कि अपनी पहचान मत भूलो उन्होंने चाहे मैं अल्लाह का बंदा हूं नबी अलैहि सलाम का उम्मती हूं मेरी यह पहचान है मैं हुसैन हूं मैंने उसके मुताबिक रहना है मैंने अब यह नहीं जो आया उसके पीछे चल पड़ा और जो बंदा अपनी पहचान भूल जाए उसको जो मर्जी ले जाए अपनी شناخت उसकी नहीं है शैतान आया वो ले गया शैतान आया वो ले गया दूसरा बंदा आया वो ले गया कोई भी आया वो उसको ले जाएगा वो उसके पीछे चल पड़ेगा देखें ना कुत्ते को पता है मैं कुत्ता हूं बिल्ली को पता है वो बिल्ली म्याऊं करती है कुत्ता भौंकता है शेर दहाड़ता है वो क्यों उनको अपनी شناخت अपनी आइडेंटिटी जिसको कहते हैं वो पता है वो इसलिए वो कर रहे हैं वो अब ये वे अजीब कुत्ता है ये म्याऊ म्याऊ कर रहा है ये शेर है ये म्याऊ कर रहा है बिल्ली जो है वो गधे की आवाज निकाल रही है हमारा ये हाल है भाई अल्लाह के बंदे हैं अल्लाह के रसूल से सलम के उम्मती है और फिर क्या होता है कि जो हमें टीवी पे नजर आ गया फेसबुक पे नजर आ गया इंस्टाग्राम पे नजर आ गया हां ये मुझे चला चलो मैं इसके पीछे चल पड़ता हूं ये तो गोया उसका कोई दीन मजहब लगता है ही नहीं कि वो जिसके पीछे मर्जी चल पड़ा और सैयद इमाम हुसैन رضی اللہ عنہ نے سبق دیا کہ اپنی پہچان اپنی پہچان کرو اور صرف جو ہے اللہ اور اس کے رسول اللہ نے تمہیں پیدا کیا اور نبی علیہ السلام اس کا نمونہ ہے کہ اللہ کو ادادی کیسے کرنا بس ان کے پیچھے تمہاری چلنا تمہاری پہچان ہے اور پھر تمہارے لوگ خلاف ہو جائیں تو وہ ہو گئے تھے خلاف امام حسین رضی اللہ عنہ کے تو آپ نے چھوڑ دیا فوجیں آ گئیں طاقت آ گئی تیر ہر چیز بیوی بچوں کو استعمال کیا بلیک میل کرنے کے لیے کہ وہ اپنی جگہ سے 
ہٹے نہیں کہ میں نہیں اس پہ میں اللہ کا بندہ ہوں نبی علیہ السلام امتی ہوں میں شیطان کے پیچھے اور شیطانی لوگوں کے پیچھے نہیں چلوں گا موت بھی مجھے یہ ہلا نہیں سکتی تلواریں نہیں لالچ خوف یہ اور ہمارا یہ حال ہے دل کرتا ہے انج کریے تو اس ادھر شروع ہو گئے دل یہ کرتا ہے دل کے دل ہمارا خدا ہے دل تو خود دڑک رہا ہے اس کو کچھ پتا نہیں ہمارا خدا نہ طبیعت ہے نہ دل ہے نہ کوئی یہ چیز ہے تو ایسا بندہ تو کامیاب نہیں ہو اس کو تو اپنی شناخت کا پتہ ہی نہیں ہو کہ میں کون ہوں میں کتنی بڑی طاقت تو ہم تو ش... یعنی اپنی اپنی جنتوں کے بادشاہ ہیں اللہ نے پیدا ہمیں فرمایا کہ تمہیں حضور علیہ السلام نے فرمایا صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے کہ سب کے لیے اللہ نے جنت میں جگہ پیدا کی ہوئی ہے اب آپ جاتے ہیں نہیں جاتے وہ آپ کر رہے لیکن اللہ نے پیدا کر دی جگہ بھائی یہ نہ ہو بھائی تمہارے لیے بکنگ ہوئی ہوئی ہے جیسے تمہیں بتائے کوئی تمہارے لیے روم بک کر دیا گیا ہے اپارٹمنٹ بکڈ ہے تمہارا ہالی ڈے کے لیے کہاں مکہ شریف مدینہ شریف اب تمہاری مرضی ہے تم فلاریڈا چلے جاؤ تو تم چلے جاؤ لیکن تمہارا اپارٹمنٹ ادھر بک ہے ادھر جا کے جوتے کھانے بشک کھاؤ لیکن تمہارا اپارٹمنٹ بک ہے جہنم میں بھی بکنگ ہوئی ہوئی ہے جس نے ادھر جانا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ سب کی سب جگہ بک کر دی ہے عام بندوں کی دونوں جگہ بکنگ ہے بھائی یہ روم بھی ہے دوزخ کا بھی اس کی بھی کنفرمیشن ہے بکنگ کی کہ ہے اگر یہ کرو گے تو ادھر جاؤ گے ادھر جنت کے ہی بڑی بڑی جنتیں بک ہوئی ہیں آپ کے لیے سو so, سیدنا امام حسین رضی اللہ عنہ ون آف دا لیسن وچ وچ وی گیٹ فار آور لائف از دیٹ نوئنگ یور سیلف آئی شوڈ ریکگنائز مائی سیلف ہو ایم آئی اینڈ دین لیو اپ ٹو اٹ دیکھنا میں ابھی بتایا ہوا ہے مینشن جی اوپر ایوری اینیمل ایوری برڈ از لیونگ اٹس اون آئیڈینٹی ہر چیز اپنی ایک آواز نکال رہی ہے اٹ ہیز اٹس اون نیچر بٹ آور دیز سم ٹائم وی آر بہیونگ دیئر دیئر وی ڈونٹ نو وٹ وی آر ڈوئنگ میننگ ایکچولی فالوئنگ اینی ون ایون گئے دین لیس بی اینڈ دے شوڈ ریکگنائز دیئر آئیڈینٹی از ناٹ دیٹ دیئر آئیڈینٹی از دیٹ دے آر کریٹر by the creator and they have a spirit and they have tendencies so many people have tendencies of doing wrong things some people feel like I should take drugs or I should actually they feel tendency towards women but now if they are married now if they still feel tendencies towards women they should control it it doesn't mean that they should now actually go and touch every woman or if they have enough wealth they still are greedy and now they should actually just confiscate everyone else's wealth and loot everyone else's bank accounts, empty them. Now they should restrain that is there. So in them as well, if there is an urge, if it's not right, they should actually control it. And the entity, when one knows that one is, because after all, whatever you do or not do, you are going to die. Angel of death is not going to ask your identity. as a your man or woman or whatever here you are you take it that's it so sayyidna imam hussain radiyallahu anhu is a very very inspiring life because actually his teachings he shown us that when odds are against odds meaning things are against you for us little bit of thing have we become angry and we lose our identity we see a beautiful woman or women see be- and we lose our identity we forget we are servants of allah we are follower of rasulullah sallam and allah has commanded not to do this so we should restrain ourselves so when a person doesn't know then this is the thing 